Okay guys, this is the Astrophysics Right Angle Polar Alignment Scope and I'm going to show you how it attaches to the Mach 2. Now the Mach 2 has been de redesigned to where the uh, right ascension axis, you cannot put this directly through. There is no cap on it to where you could put this through the axis and then bolt it down with these three bolts that you see there. So it, the Mach 2 has internal cabling and so it does not allow for a cap and a bore through on the polar axis. So Astrophysics came up with an adapter that allows you to make this parallel to the axis of the Mach 2. So here you have one part of a two-part bracket. The other part is on the Mach 2. And so you buy this bracket, this two-piece bracket. It's $99. It's the astrophysics number RAPM2. So it comes with the stainless steel 1032 thumb screw it's knurled and as you can see this plate it's two pieces this top plate to the base plate and it allows you to it's got little set screws here the small ones these real little set screws allow you to you loosen up the large ones and this allows you to tip this base on here if you have to to get the alignment parallel to the axis of the Mach 2. Another thing is where this mates into the other adapter that I'll show you on the Mach 2 you'll see that it's a dovetail on both sides and this is arced out for the uh, polar axis but you'll also notice that that dovetail is on a taper narrower narrower here and wider here so that when you stick this into the adapter it self centers if it was just a straight dovetail it could have slop in it this way when you put it into the adapter the taper locks it in and then you, it keeps it parallel all the time when you put it in it's always the same and then you just turn the thumb screw down just to uh, hold it in place now here you see the knurled stainless steel thumb screw on your left. I happen to have some 1032 brass ones. So I just put the brass in there just for the heck of it. It's got, uh, they both have flat ends. They, they're both flat on the ends. So I just elected to use the, uh, the brass. Now these two button head, um, Allen head um, stainless steel bolts are 832's and they're the original ones that are on the Mach 2 mount on the back side of the RA axis to where you would um, put the uh, adapter that I'll show you. But these are the little ones that came off and then they give you uh, flat head ones. To replace these these are just there to um, protect uh, the you know to uh, close off the opening and then you replace them with the flatheads they give you now these will require both the original ones you see here and the ones that they give you will require a three thirty seconds allen wrench these are very small so what you would do is if this piece was setting mounted to the rear of the right ascension axis this is your right angle polar alignment scope 
you'll notice that it's got these in, uh, these uh, bosses on here and that one will fit here and then these tap toes that you see here are where these would mount so you simply would put that on like that has a good positive you'll feel it where it stops then you just tighten these through these three down and you're lined up now if you want to you could leave this attached to this adapter and literally just take the whole thing off next time you need it put the whole the, the, this whole setup back on and tighten it down and you're good to go but in my case I've got a 1600 that is a, you would use this through the bore so I'll just take this off every time from this adapter plate for the Mach 2 now this is the other part that I was talking about part 2 that that would slide into and here's that part that the uh, right angle polar scope would be attached to you'd simply slide it in like that like I said the dovetail is on a taper because if it wasn't it could tip and it'd be sloppy but since it's on a taper as it goes in it tightens up lines itself aligns then you would just use your knurled knob to tighten this down then all we do is take the bore scope polar scope put it in here and tighten it down we'll take it put it in here just like this and once it self aligns like that then just take these three bolts Phillips head and you tighten it down here you see it from the front end of the Mach 2 